U.S. government was buying all the ammunition and all these um, weapons, AR-15, firearms, and all this stuff. Um, all this ammo and everything they say and they need it for uh, target practice and stuff well the IRS was involved in buying a lot of ammunition and AR-15s and they were also training with these weapons along with the Postal Service along with a lot of government agencies that you wouldn't think would be needing to uh, deal with with this kind of a thing. Um, you know, here we have this situation here. Um, why is the federal government arming the IRS with AR-15s? Is it because the IRS is going global because of uh, the bill HR 2847 the last part of it congressman questions IRS training with AR-15s you know what's what's going on here why are they training with AR-15s and why are they needing all this firearm power all these firearms well it seems that in this bill HR 2847 the uh, Innocent looking hiring incentives to restore employment act all the way down let's grab it all the way down here down 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 we go all the way down here we get into taxes to enforce reporting on certain foreign accounts we get into the foreign um, the fat laws and that is basically this law was signed in 2010 it has been postponed several times because of problems implementing it worldwide it's a huge problem and the IRS is in all of these other countries banking banking system in their business um, with holdable payments to other foreign entities I mean this is a huge huge problem um, so I mean what's what's going on here this is serious I want you to check this out going global now they're gonna go on here on this website and they're gonna lie to people this is from uh, 2013 12 2013 working abroad can have tax benefits well that's not true anymore it says right here um, many Americans can exclude part or all of their income question if I move overseas and work there next year will I still have to pay US income taxes on the income I earn abroad um, as with many tax questions it depends on numerous details see they're going to say that on every one and the fact of the matter is yes you're going to have to pay freaking taxes because you're a foreign tax dodger according to them they don't want to have to deal with it but 
after the whole situation with Miss Lerner going up there for the IRS and uh, pleading the fifth, refusing to answer questions. The world seen this and it doesn't look good for the IRS. It looks very bad. They were going after Tea Party members, um, NRA members, people that was pro-Constitution. Um, all that kind of stuff. They were coming down hard on these people purposely. Well, these other countries saw that and they did not like it because they know that with this new law the United States government and the Department of Treasury runs the Internal Revenue Service. That means the U.S. federal government is going to be up in their business. This is the distribution of global mobile service revenue. That's going to be all taxed. Okay? Bitcoin. They found a way to tax Bitcoin. Everything on the internet. Every phony, false, fake number thrown up on there, they're going to pull from. So, it, it doesn't matter what color your money is. If you're an American, they're going to come after you. The rest of the world is not going to want to deal with Americans because it's going to open the door for the United States government to come in and get their tentacles in on them. And they're already shutting out Americans in foreign banks. But um, I want to show you something else. Um, yeah, Bitcoin. They're going to start taxing, friggin' taxing it to pieces. I mean, they are really gone off the chain, guys. Look at this. Permanent IRS offices outside the United States. Let's see. It's in Germany, England, France, uh, China. Yep. Imagine that, guys. This is what they want, ultimately. They want to, you know, they want to kill us all. Starve us all to death. They want this one world government. And I believe the IRS is going to be the controlling financial, um, strong arm of the New World Order. Anyhow, let's get back to business. Going global east meets west. This is talking about the Bitcoin situation. Here's the uh, permanent IRS offices outside the United States. and the whole situation. I mean, this is a bad deal, guys. Overseas and overboard with all of it. International tax, what you need to know when going global. Yet, over here, it's all, oh, it's, it's good, you know, you know, it's wonderful, you don't have to pay taxes, they're a bunch of friggin' liars, why are they doing this, you know, buying all these weapons, ammunition, there's some major strange stuff going on, and I, I believe it all has to do with the New World Order. The IRS is going to be the police 
force for the international IRS for the world freaking financial system you know that's what I believe is going to happen IRS is going to be the world's police for the money for the new world order say goodbye to tax free bitcoins in the USA We've talked about that this is the law And I'll leave these links before, and I've got another video. Um, just go to my channel and look before this one that explains, gets into depth about this law. Um, you might want to go and watch it as well. It's um, longer than this one, but it is got a lot of stuff in it. H.R. 2847, July 1st, 2014, the U.S. dollar will officially collapse. Well, that's when this, uh, that's when this law goes into effect. Um, come on this site and watch these interviews, especially right here, this lady. Talking about the global reset the global economic reset this is a new world order thing guys and uh, you know I think that's why the IRS is arming themselves is because people are gonna be pissed people are gonna be ticked off and they might just go up in an IRS office and come visit somebody and they're gonna need to grab that firearm and uh, you know shoot back or whatever oh boy but yeah they have uh, they've gone too far guys they've gone too far they have overreached their power and gone way too far. Let me see this. IRS, Inter Internal Revenue Service. It's probably going to become the International World Revenue Service. But this was all the weapons, all the ammunition. it adds up to like they bought billions of rounds and it adds up to like every I mean, it's absurd unbelievable anyways I are IRS has gone out. It's going to be the strong arm financial police for the New World Order. Never give up your guns. Our Second Amendment protects the first and the last and all in between. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Jay.